greetings family greetings to every one of us hope we are all doing great today it is another fruitful day for you and i to get our spirit filled through the word of abe yahuwah i mean the eternal word not the words of men the undilutable word of abe yahuwah the ever living one the double s sword of Abbe Yahuwah right in his eternal presence that is filled with undilutable joy. Yes, only in his presence we can assess such joy, respect, honor. Only in the presence of Abbe Yahuwah. Only in his presence there you will be, you know, uh, accepted just the way you are. You don't have money, who cares? You have money, who cares? You are a not notable person, who cares? And you are a nobody, who cares? You are this, who cares? And you are that, who cares? Everyone is being treated a lack we are being treated as the sons and the daughters precious sons precious daughters of the kingdom of the most high only in his presence we assess that truth be accepted be you know respected honored horrible sin diaba not in the worldly system where they call worldly kingdom, worldly whatever. Or this worldly chinko father. That claim to be whom they are not. That claim to be we watch over you. That claim to be we love you. I am your father or rather your spiritual father. I sit in my throne. I watch this over all. That is chinko system. But the one that seated above... Indeed, played that role of eternal father. Then he gave us something so precious for his sons, for his daughters, to be, re, 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 you know, or rather, to be bought. So this early Chinkov uh, spiritual father, what are they giving? They don't even have the patience to tolerate our weak part. They don't even have that patience to even, even, you know, accept us the way we are. They don't even have that patience at all to look into our situation. They don't just care. They only care about themselves, their belly, themselves, their belly. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me night and day. I want it so. I want it like this. I want it so. I want it like that. Like this. Like that. No, come on now. This purges my stomachs. Prayer. I'm speaking prayer to the video that I saw. I said, now. When I begin to see all this nonsense, that put me back to flight to my Abba Yehovah Aloha Him. Where I, where I will be, you know, received as human being, and respected as the daughter of the soul. Not to be treated as an animal. Not to be treated as a slave. This is completely slavery system. Nah, nah, nah. This is total slavery system. What I saw, it is unbelievable. This is total slavery system. <laughs> Quickly, let's play this before we proceed. D be dehumanized, be humiliated. So the people, this bastard called Eruwala, invited to like this is what you wanted to do today. Just look at stupidity. Just look at nonsense. Even Yehovah that gave out his soul to die for the sins of the world. Don't treat human beings like this. You say you are a father, what did you give out? What was your payment? Just look at how they are treating the soul, the son of the soul. Look at. Just look at nonsense. Stupidity in the highest order. 
the guy dressed and said, I'm going to the palace. Because he stood there as his father's kingdom. He supposed in his heart that he is going to see his father. Only for him to go there, get there, look at how he is being dehumanized, humiliated, embarrassed, disgraced, insulted. This is, the, this is insult in the highest order of it all. A grown-up man, look at how they are beating him. And now, may my feet never come to this. And now, may my feet never enter into this violent land. Or in their group, in their set of group. When I begin to see the way they are humiliating people, because the whole world is watching. The whole world is seeing all these things. And this is not bring you respect at all to what they call their upper palace. This is not speaking good of that palace at all. This is bringing insult to that palace. This is making people to be seeing that palace as satanic oven, as demonic oven, as the coven of darkness. It is not bringing no honor because this is being done in the eyes of all. They will also have the guts to video this barbaric art. And they will also put it on the social media to scare people away. Come on now, you are not feeding nobody. But this is the almighty Yahuwah. Who created it all. Who is even giving you breath of life. Yet, he has never humiliated nobody in this man. Rather, say his two hands is open. Waiting for us to come back to him. And look at a soul return goes back to the uh, supposed father. A supposed father. He goes to his father, Pallax, and look at how he's being humiliated. How he's being, you know, dehumanized. Can this guy tomorrow of his sure word return back to that area? In fact, when he, whenever he's gonna pass it, or uh, when he's when whenever he's gonna pass that area, we all to ourselves for Pwa. may my feet never enter into that area anymore this is not bringing good testimony at all this is not speaking good of that palace at all this is not bringing no honor rather insult come to this very video and see the courses people were just rains raining upon that palace just go it's on the, i think i, I proco uploaded it go and see that for yourself because i love reading comments how many? For me, I, I even click hunger because I'm so hungry. I'm so bitter. You see, this is me. I'm hungry. You see all the comments? Go and read it. No one speak in the favor of that palace. Rather, it was insult upon insult. How many are you going to kill? How many are you going to be sorry for? I know it's going to die. Let me tell you, Yehovah gave it and he take it. Not no man. Nobody kills. Nobody give. If you cannot create a single life, therefore you cannot kill. You cannot kill, except Abbe, you want to let you kill, then you kill. He is the one that give it, and he's also the one that take it. Trust in your store and wood. I trust in my Bible. Speak from the perspe uh, perspective of your store and wood, and I also talk from what I know in the Bible. So this is indeed, I I'm speaking through uh, facts. I'm, I'm just too emotional. I'm just, I'm just too emotional. When I saw this video. So this is what Papa Wala well, wanted to do to all three people that he summoned. So this is how you would have just flogged people. Really? <laughs> you people should be very, very careful. So that is why I love my Yehovah. Freedom of speech. I love that Abbe Yehovah too much. That is why I would never be in the group of these evil people. I'm not a traditional woman. I am a... A biblical woman. So, with this being said, let's put in the title. Prior to the paperwork, you know already why we're here. It is because of this evil satanic man that is oppressing people. The people will be fighting, do, uh, doing all kinds of things. They want to get rich. Only for you, after you lay your hands on that money, now you're going to be oppressing the poor. Now you're going to be fighting against the poor. Now you're going to be intimidating people. Okay. But I love Yehovah. I love Yehovah. I love Yehovah. But what I'm saying is that all these things that is going on on the social media is speaking evil of that palace. 
is bringing is making both uh, a man and woman to be speaking evil concerning that palace because we are not seeing good testimony from there. How now that I watch this, I will regard anything in that palace. No, it's so scary. Because no one wants to be humiliated in this man, no matter what. Can you, can you humiliate your own biological son or your own biological daughter in this man? No, you don't do that. If indeed they said they are a father, why can't you indeed play the role of a father, tolerate and bear with the witness of the people out there like you do to your own biological son? How can you molest human beings like this? Someone get dressed. This man could come. Let me go and represent him as he asked me to do. Of which is in your tradition, so what can represent? Only for him to get there. Now, now begin to say, okay, what is the meaning of Ogun? Okay, but what does that, what is, what, 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 what is the meaning of that? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. The only, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get that. I, I keep, what is the, what, 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 fat? What does it mean, Ogun? Okay, but what is the meaning of that? Now, the way they are dragging this, their palace, they are making, that is, they are just making that palace to be disrespected. That is, that is the true word. Making everybody to disrespect that palace now. Because for me, I'm not into that area at all. But whenever I begin to see all these posts, I say, eh? So, now, so the be. So, it, it hurts me. You know, it touches my heart. So, yeah, what forbid do? My feet will never touch that area. God forbid. And I see it as evil ground, a dangerous and a satanic ground. Because how can someone just with confidence let me go? It is Obapala, it is my father's house. Only for you to get and be humiliated. Okay, let's put aside now emotion and let's go into why we are here today. I bet you what I just thank you for accepting it the way I am. I know how to talk, I don't know how to talk. You just you just have, Accept me? And you cannot call your angel to come and be dehumanizing me. No, rather you dispatch your mighty angels to watch this over me. Ah, now, prodigal son, when prodigal son was coming back home, look at what lovely father did. As the prodigal son entered, look at the party we throw. He said, the day once in our repent. Evil rejoice, and why the angel party? Okay, this guy said, I can't come. Of course. Ah, we, that is the number one. want to look and say, let him that have wisdom calculate into the deceit of this satanic man. Uh, 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 what, what they call him? Edu Mezedu, Eru Wala, also Papa J. Boy. I hate this man now with passion. He was hate him with passion. What you guys did yesterday? No, it is unacceptable. He was hate him, man. Now. I hate you, I hate you, and I hate everything that concerns you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate Papa Wala. From that onward, I declare you my enemy. I just declare you, I see you as my worst enemy. Because you are, not, you are just an oppressor. And people like you deserve not to live in that Edosla because you are the one spoiling that land. Having sexual intercourse. With married woman. Ever since I've been into this matter, I've never talked to you like this. But now I make it so clear to you that I hate you with passion. I'm not hiding it. And I, I can't fake it. Try just oppressing human beings, oppressing people. So this is what you wanted to do to the three people you summoned in your coven because I cannot call this palace uh, what they call the Awe Swamba or so Swamba. Awe Swamba. That should be a weak, a, you know, you know, a, a place or a, a wicked. A, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! A wicked place or a wicked kingdom. How can you do that? But I know this one. You bribe them because I will also speak good that I know about that. I will swab. Um, I don't worship so I would, but I will speak the truth. In honor of how they do their things over there, that I know those days, those days, I went there only once. And how I what, how I come there, I will narrate it later. 
But with this one Papa Wala did, you are my enemy. Oh, yeah, I'm All right, now, family. Thank you, Abiyoa, because you just accept me the way I am. I'm not perfect. You said, come over, my daughter, I need you. I'm a sinner. You said, come over, my daughter, I need you. I once insult you because through, I once insult you through my lifestyle. Come over here. You did that out of ignorance. That is the one I call my father. I once did all this wickedness. Oh, I bet you once said, my daughter, I say, come to me. Come to me. I pardon you. I pardon you. You are my precious daughter. You are my pre That is why I love Bible. When, when I hear some people call it Bible mommy, I say, you must be stupid. Just go and read, read the relationship of a father and children. Read it and see how romantic, lovely the father is to his children. Just read it. And this is my father. King David said, my early father and my early mother may abandon me, but you, you will not. And that is true. Someone bold, dressed, looking good, and say, yes, I'm going to the other part. Only for him to go there. Look at how they dehumanize him. And they even, they even have the cause to upload it for us to see. So what I say? You, are, you just put me on the road. And you make me now to begin to speak against that palace, calling it all kinds of names. And not only me alone. Go to that video in our Proco uh, uh, page. You're going to see more. You're going to hear it by yourself. Anyways, thank you, Abe Yehua, for loving me, for choosing me, and making me your own, for cleansing me, for forgiving me all my imperfect, and for also removing from me uh, the filthiness of the world. And for you make me to focus my eyes to where I belong, which is your kingdom, the eternal kingdom that can never pass away. All this mammoth kingdom, they all will be destroyed. That is what the book that I believe in says. So, I believe Bible. I'm a, a Bible believer. Everything written over there, I believe it. Okay. So, the kingdom is going to pass the way. Worldly kingdom, worldly practice, all this nonsense will be swept away. Okay. Only the kingdom of Yahweh will stand eternal because he may lose worthy to be. A f I, I, with all these things they are doing, you should have known by now that the only way out from oppression is the heavenly kingdom. The only way out for this humiliation, it is the only kingdom. Because you see, see the place they call Wanohua. See the place they call Palace. See how they are humiliating people. See how they are dehumanizing people. See how, they are insult, see how they are insulting people. See how they are oppressing people. My feet will go there to do what? If they don't know me, I don't know them. And I will never be there. If I see my place, in the, see myself in that dream, in me, I was Zege, I was because it's scary. When I had boo -woo, it looks like graveyard to me. It, lo it looks like now satanic, uh, serpent kingdom. A place where they loaded all snakes, kinds of snake into. You know, snake is an enemy. And in, it's only enemy will treat human being like this. It's only enemy will de dehumanize human being like this. It's only enemy will look on human being. A rat that is useless completely. And say you are you what not you are so worthless. No matter what, a father should have take his stand as a father. A chief should have played his part as a chief. Prince should have played their part as prince. Not all oh, this. No, I don't know. Maybe that is how they act in the kingdom of darkness or in the kingdom of Judas and God. No, look. But in our in our Bible, no, 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 no. And I thank you. What well, is not thing like that? Uh -uh. Should have dropped Bible also. But here, yeah, what well, forbid that it is so lovely. It's so lovely. All right, now family, why are we here? Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message that is for you and me, Papa Wala and J Boy. You just placed cause of sudden death upon yourself. You are a step to your grave. That is the title. You are just one step to your grave. Because all those juju, stones, wood, the place, uh, they bring out that uh, whatever. It was done on the cyst. Though the summary was on the tape. But he was linked out before you people, you know, 
they wanted to do that, play that Ojuro game. Somebody recorded the whatever, like I heard, I'm not there. But he was done before the time, of course. He was done before the time. Now, all those toe and wood, there is a spirit behind it. He that break the edge, something is going to bite. That's what one to look into. Because when warrior do, you know you are spoiling that land. Where is it written in your adult constitution? No matter what. That you have the right to have sex with a married woman. I don't care. Who is Ambrose? Because that one is no more human. That one is a walking corpse. But where is it being written? Where is the hope? Go ahead being given unto you. According to Edo institution, it's the strongest tower. That is why it is a great abomination. Edo people con you know, consider it a great abomination. One of who put feet inside desert, feel where you are, commit adultery. Commit adultery. It can kill the man. It can also kill children. It can kill the woman as well. It is satanic. So I don't ever condone that. I do constitution never, never condone that. So now, Papa, well, that is your attitude. No, ya we bono wake be. And that is ritualist. No, ya perform very strong abolition in the kingdom of darkness. Now, people like you, they impregnate mad women on the streets. People like this Papa Wala is the one impregnating every mad woman in the street. Because they are using it for sacrifices and sacrifices, ritualists, for fame and wealth. What shall it profit him out of gain the whole world? At the end, you lose your soul. So now, Papa Wala, confidently, without no atom of that, you are the occult man I'm be seeing in my dream. For the past nine years, quickly I have to chip this in. So, Papa, will you be that occult man? It's all, it's all over in my video. For the past four or five years, I, I keep narrating this vision. Keep because this occult man was so evil to the Edo's land, it was a good at all, but he died mysteriously. I saw this vision nine years ago, it keep coming, it keep coming. And that nine years ago, when I was, oh, first of all saw this vision, we were just like in the trade fair. And everybody, today and I know it was it's Facebook. So this trade, it was just like a trade fair, fair ground. This one, you will bring whatever you have to set there. This one will bring whatever you have to set there. Everybody was just on their own business. Like me, I was also there in that vision. But this, uh, this very uh, vision, I saw it in a, it was in a doland. So I was also there in that trade fair because the ground was just like trade fair. Everybody just come and shade whatever you have. So I was also there. Then I also shade mine. I love it. So there was a, a girl. This guy, everybody, he was so popular among the Edo's community. He was a not notable man. So all of a sudden, I heard a voice from the sky. He said, he speak at Bini. Larry, well, come over here. Hey, you come over here or whatever. Before he knew it, a written note was in this Edo mass hand, this occult Edo mass hand. Before you know, you're fed down suddenly. It was a great fall. It was a great fall. And that thing put a lot of fear in people and be narrated this vision. This was the first time I saw that vision. Everybody ran out of that trade fair, <laughs> including me. Because his his painful as it was just, you know. So sorry. Now, I now come to Facebook. The vision continue again. This occult man, this occult man, keep destroying the Edo's land. Keep doing all this evil. Keep doing all this wickedness. Now, the recent one, I think this should be uh, four years ago. So I also narrated this on my Facebook. Eh? I saw this again. Vision came back. And now, Yahuwah have mercy. Now, this occult man, I also narrated this vision to about four women. Three Edo women and one Igbo woman. How this occult man is taking people's star. And how this occult man is killing people for rituals. And this occult man, this is, is doing this wickedness, this occult man is, is doing it with his own wife. He, his wife knew too well. So you want to talk me to this occult man house again. If you are a constant follower, though this is my new Facebook, I nearly open it. But this vision is on my Facebook, the old one. You know, I have two Facebook. I have three. 
I nearly opened this one. I think this one is about a month ago. Okay, maybe about eight months now. I don't know. The Facebook I was using before, I opened one in 2011. The other one, I think, 2012. So the one of 2012, that is where the video is. You can still access it, but I lost the password. So that, that was why I opened this new one. But the other one I opened 2011, that video is still there. So when you also go to uh, Yahushua Queen, you will still see this one. This one is was the one I opened 2012. The video was is still there. I narrated it over there. That this man, this is how he is doing it. I bet what took me to this my house, this occult Edoma. When I got to his backyard, it was filled with people's heads. Many, 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 many people's head was there, young, old, you know, babies. Uh -uh. It was so scary, only their head. What is he doing with people's head? Oh my Abba. I bet when I say, come over, it's not yet finished. When I now come to the front of his house, there I now say a very large basin with a very hot water. And this awkward man was just busy though. Then he would just throw the head of a man inside that big basin. Then the chemical, whether it's hot water or chemical, I can't tell. But as, as soon as he put the head of that person inside the water, every single hair from that man's head would just pull into that water. So they would not go and throw the skull on their backyard while the man's hair, he would not pull it from the water and fix it on his own hair, on his whole head. So now he, his hair will be so beautiful. You say, when you see this one, say, wow, this man have beautiful hair. And his wife, the same, if he also want to put other people's hair, hair uh, in his wife's head, he will also go and bring the woman's head, the cut. And he will also throw that woman's head inside that water, whether chemical or water, I can't tell. Then all the hair would just come out. So they would also carry the skull of the head of the woman and throw in their backyard. Why they would pack uh, uh, all the hair from the skull. This, the very man would also fix it on his wife's head. Then the wife's head would be so beautiful. We we'll say, wow, this man have a nice, lovely, beautiful hair. Then, if you also want to include other people's hair, with his own children's hair, whether a boy or a girl, he will also go and carry child hair, the, the one that caught beheaded, he will also put it inside the water. And afterwards, remove the hair and also fix it on their children's hair. Ah, ah. And then they were not having excellent hair. And their hair was so full and so thick and so beautiful, nobody will see their hair that will not admire it. And I said, ah, ah, what, what are they doing? Why are they pulling other people's heads? On their own hair. Why are they using other people's hair? For their own hair to be so thick. Then the Ruach HaKodesh now begin to minister, to minister to me. This is how they are taking people's glory. And this is how they are taking people's star. And this is what they are called money rituals. That when they will cut that person's life. And what that person should have become. They will not include it to their own head. For long life. For prosperity, for great, for wealth, power, okay, and the same thing he will do for his wife. The same, and I say, what kind of? I also narrated this vision, and the most devilish of it. Also, in that vision, I now want to meet his wife, and I begin to fight his wife. What are you people doing? This is evil. This is wickedness. What is the meaning? Why are you supporting your husband? He said, "Come on, madam, me, I will support my husband." And I now said, "But you know what? Your husband is doing is very bad." He said, I don't care. Uh -huh. I have to follow my husband. I have to support my husband. And this is what we are doing over here. He said, let me tell you, the wife was the one who now later confessed the other part to me. The wife now just come and say, hey, this one, do you also know that things we used to collect people's star and people's head, people's luck, people's blessing, people's glory, people's money? I said, no. And she now say, hey, food, do food. If you want to do, collect people, want to rob your destiny. We will just throw one party. And this party, we can put it as bed, we can put it as marriage, we can put it as dance, we can put it as whatever. Only to just get people invited and ch let them chop our food. He said, when they chop our food, eh, they will conquer them. And I put my two hands, I said, eh, thank you, I bet you want me, I don't go to party. 
And I saw this vision during the time Mama Uwala want, want to do the... Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It was after there because this vision should be four, five years now. I think so. But it's on Facebook. When I saw this one, it's on Facebook. Yes, I put it there. Yes, it was after Mama Wala party. Yes, I have to tell you the way it is. It was after Mama Wala party. But now, this vision keep coming in a different way. So, and I narrated it to four women. As I narrated this vision to four women, one Igbo woman, three of those women. Let me tell you. As I narrated it to this Igbo woman. He said, Princess, you are just telling me this vision, but my mind is telling me this is Papa Wala. He said, my mind is telling me this is Papa Wala. I said, but me, I don't know the occult man. He said, I said, heaven knows I don't know him in that vision. He said, but my mind, as you are just saying, something is ministering in my heart that this must be Dumezedo. And I said, eh? I don't know because I don't know who was that person. This should be four, four five years ago. Then, and I also tell it to one sister. Ah, that one I said, that Dumezedo be this one. Now, Papa Wala be this one. Really? No, I said that. I also tell this to this lady. I said, even Ibo woman has also narrated this too. He said, this must be Papa. I said, ah, ah. Then I tell it to one mama. I get ah, mom, what, that mama break it down for me. That mama said, come, princess, not be only you see this vision. It is Papa Wala. And his death is, is going gonna, is, is gonna, is gonna to be so, so, you know, disastrous. It, that one said, I saw my twice. Papa Wala will just die mysteriously. Was I not caught my how is, you know, oppressive people. That was how I saw it twice. And that twice, oh, I'm messing that every year, make my worry. Only what? That one that woman tell me, ah, ah, look, and these people are me, they are missed. I go to their house. We are just, they live in my backyard here. Sometimes, he walk with your sister, do this, so, and uh, come and take your own. Ah, that thing not begin to disturb me. When they come to my house, they say, ah, that thing not begin to break me down. How can this, how can this be? But I still keep it in my heart. Only one lady could not tell me the meaning. I also tell her, that one I say, eh? but we know all these rich, rich people. They, we know their hand is not clean. Yes, as you are saying, anyway, yeah, of course. Or oh, maybe uh, you don't think this person can also be in your family. I said, I don't even know the person. That is the worst part. Now, that one will stop. I also, now, the vision came again in another satanic way. I, I can't go into this until this awkward man died mysteriously. This was about two or three years ago when this one came back again. They are now beginning to see a demorphic. Ah, now, when this came back again, ah, now. so what kind of problem is this? This one was so horrible. I will not go into that one now. But when a demorphic, uh, whatever happened, I now begin to see that it was a demorphic. I will use it to compose song. I will did message. That's so the morphine, you were the one that I was seeing all these years in the vision. A donatable and notable man, a very worthy man. Popular man just died mysteriously because of his wickedness. It's an occult man, oppressing people, waging war, declaring war against me. I narrated all this matter because I now begin to see it as a demorphine. Now, why do I see it now as a demorphine? That was three years ago, a bit two years ago. Another one, this vision will come again in another form. Then the most that began to minister to me again in that vision, he said, This occult man will die by mortal accident mysteriously. Never you call his wife to console her. Ah! When I hear that, I say, His wife? Do I know this person? He said, Yes, sir, I know the person. Do I have their contact? He said, Yes, you have their contact. When this man died, never you even call his wife and say, sorry, when you are not a widow, never. He said, rather celebrate his death because he's, he's death. He said, because he's a wicked man, poverty people's glory, stealing people's glory in the spirit world, waging war against the, uh, uh, the, 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 the peoples of the land. Ah, ah. Then I was now afraid, oh, is it my family? He said, I know that poor... Meanwhile, I don't have no number of uh, the people in my family here. Eh? Now, for the past how many years now? Now, I'm on my own. I'm on my own. And the only boy my mother have is a believer. So we don't do that nonsense. 
They even wanted, the occult man even wanted to kill this my brother. Because he was fighting with you war. Because he wanted to claim glory. He wanted to steal. So he said, I should be caught. But me, I begin to read it to the Murphy. Because I begin to see the Murphy also in the dream with the occult man. And I say, ah, ah, I be easy at the Murphy. So even when I tell the other sister and say, how do you know it's Papa Wala? Maybe it's a Demophy because look at what he said, Princess, leave that matter. Not that Demophy is good, but this one is not a Demophy because I saw the one I saw it was Papa Wala. So now I know why a Demophy is included. Why, now I know when why a Demophy was also there in the vision. Look at what is going on now. This is a vision that is big, going on for a whole nine years. And <laughs> now I'm arrived. So, Papa Wala, you are my enemy. So, quickly, this is what I want to chip in. Let's put in scriptures now. Now, Papa Wala is the occult man and be seen. So, with what you did yesterday, indeed, you are an oppressor. And that is what that occult man was just doing. And what I'm also seeing, and again, Papa Wala is an occult man. Is this is, has already come. So, he is trying not to use somebody for his place because they always call people say I'm not the I saw this in the vision but Monica confessed and say all the people you killed is in her hands he said you are a killer you are a murderer he said all the people you killed the number of the people you have killed she said I have all of them in my hands <laughs> she said your money is blood money and this all I'm busy for the past nine years they all got my they are cut back. You are just a step away to your grave. Yes. So we can't do without the word of Abel. I, I quickly say that because now I get the full understanding already that okay, this is the occult man for more than nine years. Oh, okay. Let me tell you what you did yesterday. Abel was going to use it to walk in you because you slept with a married woman and you cannot go unpunished. Nah, nah, nah. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 8 through 10 or so. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and also whoso breaketh an edge, a serpent shall abide there. You see all those stones and wood you were using yesterday. There's a spirit behind it. What is the spirit behind it? It is the serpent. Serpent is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Where do you get the wood? You get the wood from the tree. And I was like, you, who is the stone? The iron. These are all wicked spirit now it said he that break or uh, whosoever that dig a pit like what you did with this uh fake or whatever injustice people that was you digging a grave but you are the one to fall on that grave because that that was the that causes was the it was a uh, the highest order of injustice now Everybody that saw that thing was so gro I groaned in my spirit and everybody lamented about it. And so a group of men said they're going to swear for you. They shouldn't even bother because you, you lay causes upon yourself already. If you break the a serpent is going to bite you, bite you. Even those stones and wood, there are things they forbid. According to a institution, they forbid you having sex with a married woman. With that, you break the edge said already. So you're going to be punished. You are the one to enter that grave because you dig that pit already. You must go there. You dig a pit of injustice. You are the one to go in there. Let me tell you. First of all, when I saw that summary, I said, no, this one, there is error somewhere. Because no man, in, no a psychological man or kingdom or system that will summon somebody far away, more than 6,000 miles away from you, you will just summon that person on April 21, May 10. You must be in Nigeria. Nobody does that nonsense. It has never been done. First of all, I was having a problem with the date. That day should have been three months. If that were legitimate, <clears throat> it should have been three months because this involved thousands of euros. This involved children because they are our fathers, they are our mothers, and married people, couples. And they work, some of them work. So, can you ask a person on that uh, how many days? Uh, 19 days and say hey, the person will just run down to Nigeria. Oh, we go say call our wife. Except the only way that is going to happen, you just are going to take care of the responsibility and say the way you people humiliate me just too much. I'm going to pay every single penny that has to do with the journey in order for you people to run. And assuming these people go home, Papa Wala will have oh no, he will have do oh no, oh no. Okay, let me reserve some comment. Okay. Your plans, we see it already. First of all, you will have humiliated them. You wouldn't have. Everybody see that already. And that is the most comment flying everywhere. Now, 
No, how can you call a mother, a father, whereby you, the, uh, the Mesedo, you were once here? You know children are going to school. How can you just rip children out of the school and you run to pass? For what? You, you, are you the one taking care of people's responsibility? How tell you? Now, that I saw. Ticket, this, this to even buy ticket, you know what it is. And people is walking, you just run to your walking place and say, in, in, in 19 days time, I'm going to fly to Nigeria. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Even though if your papa die, your mama die, you want to do better, you must give notes of two, three months. Now, prior to what I know concerning this, um, when I first of all see that somewhere, I said this one is fake. It's not real because my mother that brought me here, this should be 26 years ago, first deportation, second deportation. So my mother, I went to her. So there was a lady, she also brought girl, Madeli. And Madeli don't want to pay her. So my mother, who goes to her family house, they will say, we are not hearing for her. She's not calling nobody. Fear for my mother, I went to Oba, no, uh, I was from Oba, to some of them. First, then I brought book, that uh, written note to this uh, family house, and nobody replied. No, when that did go, they were afraid. They didn't go. And that place will write it again the second time. They refused to go because not that they, they don't want to go, but they were afraid because why they are hearing from their daughter. And they returned that paper again the third time. And that is the last one. So they did not go. Therefore, that was the day I went. So my mother now said, to, the last warning is gone. So now they want to place a course upon that family. Therefore, they, 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 they give my mother <coughs> time to come and meet them in that house one. But that was the very first day and the very last one I went out there. She now put me in the car. I follow her there. I see a lot of cases over there. So in my mother, they now tell her, okay, this is what you want. This is what they will use for the slaying courses upon the gate and the family because the mother was lying and she did not come to answer them so now they want to play they did it three times three whole times and these are the people in nigeria no someone living far away since almost seven thousand miles away you just gonna come and 19 days you have to be but me not go drop that nonsense they purge my belly you, you people is even bringing insults to that palace now then I give the list. My mother I paid them the money to go and buy all this blood, something, ekita, and all this goat. They, will, they said they want to keep something of blood in symbol of that girl's blood and the family's blood. And that is what they did yesterday. And that is what, in fact, Papa Wala's blood. That animal that came and sprinkled the blood, that is Papa Wala's blood being sprinkled. A blood where one him there because of Bomorokba. A time where send it. So you have to go. You can't use nobody to replace. No, no, no. Because everyone is against you now. Now, what happened? So, my mother bought everything. So, they put a date to lay the course. So, but still, my mother was still having conscience. She said, let me go and tell this woman that this is what we are going, about to do now. So, before we are going, we still passed through the house. My mother and told the lady, my mother of the care of the family, in so so that they're going to place course. Because first, second, third, you did not come, you disrespect. They're going to swore for you. When the woman hear that everything is ready now to swear, she now begin to confess. Sister, babe, forgive me. I was afraid. I don't know what to do. My daughter is calling me because she said my her daughter don't call her. She don't hear anything from her. Eh? Meanwhile, the daughter is calling and the daughter is sending money to her. And then my mother said, "Why did it not?" He said, "Yes, she was afraid because she knew her daughter is calling her." So the mother, the woman are beginning to beg, they should not cause, they should not cause, they should not cause. Fearful, my madonna put her that same day in the car, we return back to that place to stop that cause. Fearful, what did they do? They now use her to take hold until this girl finished paying, paying her money. If you still do this nonsense, then the woman swear. So that was how they stopped that cause. So like this one, you just someone person, only 19 days you called someone then, April 21st, May 10th, they have to be in Nigeria. Who does that? Come on. Come on now. You stop disgracing yourself. Nonsense. Are you the one to pay for their, are you the one to take care of their responsibility? Who is going to take care of their children? Is it not school time? You could even calculate all those th things that follows. You just wanted to jump in the flight wait, 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 because you have filthy and wretched money to miserable. You will perish these days with your money.
You are just an oppressor. You are not good for that land. You are leaders of demons' career. And it is time for you to pay back. And they say in Proverbs 26 said that, uh, Proverbs 26 verse 27, He that dig a pit, on a grave, that is the grave, you are the one to fall on it. So shall it be in Yahuwah's mighty name. Let me tell the spirit behind what you did yesterday. Store a word. They are dead. It's okay. Matthew chapter 8, verses 22. But Yahushua said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. So, let the dead bury their dead. You see, it's the testimony is in your palace there. Ozola is a dead oba, but it's been worshipped as a stone and wood. Uh, what they call the other one, you see all this is there. All this is mortal. You are seeing it. They are, they are gone. But you see, they still worship a mortal. In that place where the mother, what is the other one? Uh, in Buddha was once oba. He died. Ogun was once oba. Uh, Oloko Ishango. This were once oba's wife. Then be worshipped. So they are the stone and the wood. You worship. You say like the dead because they are dead already. Now they're going to bury their own dead. They're going to bury Papa Wala because you are, they can't bury nobody. But they are on the lady dead, bury their own dead. Ozola is dead, he's going to bury Papa Wala. Ian Buddha is dead, he's going to bury Papa Wala. A Mota is gone, he's going to bury Papa Wala. And that is the representative of your store and wood. That is the spirit resident in the it is store. It is the spirit of dead people. Now, Proverbs chapter 16, verses 4. Abba Yehuah said, Even the wicked he created there to do... Okay, let me read there. First of all, Psalm 150, verses 8 said, Whosoever that make idols, you will not become like them. Let the dead bury their dead. Papa Wala, you're going to be buried by your own dead people. Okay, that is the spirit of stone and wood. Since it's stone and wood, you know. And I bet you are heaven is going to use it to work for you. Uh, Proverbs chapter 16, verses 4. Yahuwah had made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The days of evil, Papa Wala, is standing beside you here. You are just a step to your grave. He said, yeah, you say all this stone and wood. They are the evil. is going to use it to visit you. In him, Buddha is a dead one. He's over there to take you now. A mortar, you know already. Ozola, you know already. This is how they shall go. Look, they are all uh, dead people. They're going to take you back to where they live now. Because you dig a pit, you are the one to fall into that pit. That grave, you must enter in Yahuwah's mighty name. Many women, these days, they say they want to gather together and swear for you. I said these people should be bothered because this guy uses his own mouth to do the swearing and the swear is going to fall upon him. You couldn't defend yourself that you didn't sleep with a married woman. You couldn't do anything they ask you to do. Only for you to go and be constituting nuisance, oppressive people. You must go down the grave that you have already dug. In Yahuwah's mighty name. Thank you, Abbe Yehuwah. This is quickly what I want to pull out. And I'm still returning back. Yes, I thank you, Abba. To you be all glory, honor, adoration. No one can oppress your people. And no one can see our glory. Our glory, man, untouchable, eternal. In Yahuwah's mighty name. Because this came from above with fire. You can't touch it. You will go down the grave.